something's not right. Okay, I think we're ready to start now. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to another video, it's Andrew. I've had this idea for a, a pretty long time now, and it's just this. Go on Wish, find interesting, weird, or actually decent things that relate to the guitar, and I've got some good stuff. But Andrew, what is this Wish you're talking about? Wish is similar to Amazon, but if everything was 90% off. It's kind of weird. I've heard some bad reviews and also good reviews. Uh, it's kind of random. Luckily, I got everything I ordered, except one thing was messed up, but it's still like the same. You you'll get it when I get to it. So let me show you the uh, the mini haul. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna test all of these. So I got three things. I got these are if it'll focus. <clears throat> these are finger guards, and you just put them on your fingertips and it makes guitar playing not hurt as much. They were free on Wish, but the shipping was $2, so you're basically paying nothing. Like shipping, yeah, it, may, it makes sense. Um, but it's crazy that it's just free, right? But it's not like they're anything crazy, right? They're just like silicone finger things. So uh, let's pop these babies open. Got some nice Chinese on there. Okay, so. Let me make it look like I know how to open things. There we go. And I love that they give you five because on the wish page, it actually says four piece. So I actually got more than I paid for. So, oh, these are really weird. They're all squishy. They're just, they just, they're really soft and squishy. Like you can do anything with these, roll them in a ball. Uh, yeah, that's pretty crazy. You just put them on. So let's. Oh, this is weird. This is weird. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, that feels weird. No, 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 no. That looks so stupid. <laughs> I am still sick. Just a warning. These are. Oh, I don't like these at all. Oh no. They 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 feel bad. These hurt me inside. Do you see this? That is awful. I just realized I put these on the wrong hand. I'm stupid. Okay, so these are supposed to go on the hand you press the strings down on. And for me, that's my left hand. So let's just uh I gotta go through this again. Guys, I'm telling you, this is not comfortable. They're warm and mushy. I guess I don't I guess this is a spare one, because you don't need one for your thumb. Okay, so now that I actually have them on the right hand. Um, oh, well, it's my left, but it's the correct hand I meant, not the right. Okay. Well, now that I have them on the correct hand, let's test them. And luckily, I have my test guitar right here. Okay, we're all tuned up. This is gonna be kind of, oh, whoa, this feels weird. Oh, my fingers are, they're stupid now. They don't know what to do. It's like, it's like when you put mittens on a dog, right? When you put mittens on a dog, they like forget how to walk because they have to get used to like their feet being covered. This is the same thing. Just worse. Maybe not worse. I can still walk. My they don't know where to go. Okay, let's do some simple chords, okay? G, D, C, bar chord. Oh, B minor. So, they're okay, actually. And, and they, I don't, actually, I'm not feeling anything. Okay, well, oh god. They're... It's kind of hard to put your fingers together because they're kind of like, you know, big chunkus. Like, they, they just, they take up a lot of space. Hmm. But they work, is what the, the important part is. Oh, oh my god. So, okay. Don't expect to be sliding all over the place on the guitar, guys, because that is, that is just does not work with these. Oh no. Well, that was an experience, I've got to say. Uh, I don't know how I feel about these. They're, they're, they work, they definitely work, as, as they said. You have, to you have to learn the guitar again to play with these on because your fingers just forget. So that's kind of a con but they definitely work like they said they would. They, they don't hurt, 
you can barely feel pressing down, which is nice. But like if, if guitar playing, if pressing down on the strings actually does hurt that much for you, then these are kind of a victory royale, guys. One more close up. Kind of weird. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. You know what, Wish, you did pretty good. I'm gonna give these a seven out of 10 because they do their job. They have some downsides, but they do their job. Uh, they're pretty comfortable, except for putting them on. It kind of feels disgusting. They feel like sliding goo onto your fingertips. You know, for them being free and the shipping being $2, that's a steal. That's the steeliest of steel, my guys. Fingertip protectors. Next up we have, I just thought this was funny, so I got it, but it really is just a weird item. It, it, it's a finger stretcher. So you put your fingers inside these holes. I don't know, it was weird. Let, let, let's get into it. Okay, so just like the last one, on Wish, this was free and the shipping cost $2. So pretty much free, guys. And, and if you look at the image, you kind of just wear it like brass knuckles. But if brass knuckles were for like someone with giant fingers. Oh no. <laughs> The premise is this stretches out your fingers so that you can spread farther and, and get more frets in your, your hands, in your reach. So what you do, you just, there's an image, you just kinda slide them in there. Ow! If you guys can do this, if you guys can like put all your fingers in here, like, oh, then uh, you know, I think you're kind of a god. So yeah, that's it. Um, I don't think I could play anything like this. I, I'm pretty, I don't even know what this is for. Do you just passively just kind of hold your finger in it and let it stretch? Or are you supposed to like play like warm ups or something? Okay, so let's try doing some warm ups. Ow, I can barely fit in these. Oh my God. Oh my God. I mean, I can stretch farther now. I guess that's true. That's a six fret gap. That's pretty good. But I don't think you can really play anything with these. Maybe an E minor. A bar chord? Oh no. So yeah, I, I don't think this is for playing with. But I think this is just... While you're not doing anything, just put your hand in it, right? And just let the stretching begin. I don't, honestly don't even know how to wear it properly. It just doesn't really fit. And it's very rigid, so it doesn't bend. You have to conform to this shape. And I don't know how useful this is. Is, it, is this that useful? I mean, over time your fingers will, will stretch. But maybe you've got like, I don't know, tiny fingers, and you just like, man, guitar is pretty hard to play, so you just gotta use one of these babies. I don't know, I'm gonna give this a 5 out of 10, because it kinda hurts, and it, I don't really see the point, you know? I couldn't even play guitar with this on, it's just so, it, it's too far apart for even like playing like 1, 2, 3, 4, like chromatic, but it was also free, so I didn't really expect that much. But you know, it's an interesting novelty, you know? Uh, it's a nice addition to all my guitar stuff. So uh, I'll put this off to the side. And last but not least, I got some strings. And these were hecka cheap. Like these were the steeliest of steels, guys. I think it was $9 total, which is like nothing because these strings cost 17 to $18 at like Guitar Center. So that's a win, that's a dub guys. Just one problem, they kind of sent me the wrong gauge. So these are the usual strings I use. They're elixirs, uh, they're amazing. Uh, but these are medium gauge. I, I kind of need these because light gauge, they just don't work with my like playing style. So let's open this baby. My, my, my money shot. Oh, oh. Strings are pretty boring. Hey guys, welcome back to my ASMR channel. What am I doing? Now I mix them all up. 
<clears throat> we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Kind of dumb. Okay, so these were a measly four dollars, and we get some ultra thin nano web coating elixirs. Light gauge. What guitar do I restring? Okay, so I'm now gonna restring one of my guitars to test these strings out. So, uh, how I did that was I looked around and I looked for the crustiest of the crusties. And this one's pretty crusty. Crusty, dusty, very musty. Let's take these strings off, shall we? What I use to take off strings is this little thingy. It's a it's a pin, not a peg, Andrew, you little thought. Peg remover, a uh, string cutter, and a... Pretty satisfying, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so now I'm just gonna quickly take off all the strings and put these babies on. Do not try this at home, kids. Oh! Okay, finally we got everything restringed now. So now let's tune it real quick. That sounds like a guitar right there. Let's play a little song. I'm actually really happy with how it sounds. Uh, I don't think you'd be able to stand like a lot of percussion like heavy percussion and crazy strumming like that I think they'd kind of give out because they're light gauge, but for like classical like like light stuff like this Pretty good sounds great a super steel nine dollars instead of like an 18 retail anyways I think this has been a pretty successful haul Most of the stuff was just a joke, but the strings are definitely something that you guys can get for much cheaper than they actually are. But uh, yeah, gamers, that's a victory royale. Uh, these are some pretty funny stuff. You guys should try them out, actually. See if they help you or at all. I don't think I'll be using them, but I, I, it was funny. Well, that was an interesting video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching all the way through. Uh, don't forget to like if you liked it and subscribe. See you guys next time.